With so many project management tools out there, how do you know where to start when it comes to choosing the right one for you and your team? The last thing you want to do is invest in a software that doesn't actually have the features and tools that you need, making your projects crash and burn. That's why today I'll be walking you through what you actually need to consider when choosing a project management software, the must have features and some tips every project manager needs to know when comparing project management software. I'm really excited to share this knowledge with you. And if you are too, let me know by subscribing and enabling notifications by clicking on that bell icon. But now let's get to it. We are going to get to the must have features soon, but first let's briefly talk about what you'll need to consider before choosing your new PM tool. The first thing to consider before choosing tools for project management is figuring out the methodology that you use the most. There are several different methods of course, including waterfall and agile, which you can find much more in depth information about in our video called Agile vs Waterfall. We'll leave a link to that one in the description box. The waterfall method is great for straightforward projects that aren't expected to change much throughout the process. These projects thrive with software that emphasizes deadlines and task dependencies. An agile approach, on the other hand, is better for projects that are expected to require more flexibility as changes needed throughout are predicted. Agile project management breaks down a goal into several smaller goals that each team works on simultaneously. So if most of your projects follow an agile methodology, you'll need a software that emphasizes the visualization of project work and compartmentalizing of various tasks. Once you decide on a methodology, the next thing to consider is the scale and scope of your project portfolio. Take into account resources you already have available to you for that particular project and identify what is still needed that a software can take care of. Keep in mind that a software that can adapt to your current needs is more effective than a software with too many features that aren't going to be used. Which brings us to our next point. You need to consider your business needs. Now to figure this out, there are four very important questions that you should ask. What information do stakeholders expect to see? At what frequency and level of detail do they want to see it? What is the project team's work style? And how could project management software support your team? Gather your project team to discuss what they would need to successfully complete the project by defining key elements of the project portfolio, like the number of teams involved, the project's complexity and flexibility, timeline and budget. Will the project require a visual display so that all teams are up to date with the changes of an iterative project? Take into consideration if you already have tools that need to integrate with your new software solution or if you will even need to integrate at all. Finally, you want to consider the cost. Choosing the right software that doesn't break the bank is very important. Find the balance between obtaining all the features you need at an affordable price. See what type of payment options the project management solution offers, such as per user basis, monthly subscriptions, or an annual subscription. When it comes to features, one size does not fit all. Imagine trying to put a chihuahua sized sweater on a golden retriever. Just because it works well for the chihuahua doesn't mean it'll do the golden retriever any good. The same goes for project management. Different projects come with different needs and requirements. With that being said, there are nine essential features that each project will need at a base level. The first one is the ability to assign and manage tasks. This includes scheduling projects and their respective deadlines and allowing team members to see the timeline of each task. The second one is the ability for all team members to communicate with the project manager and the rest of the team. I'm talking about file sharing and online collaboration using a chat or shared documents. The third one is the ability for all team members to view project data, such as tasks details and supporting files. Number four is the ability to create and customize project dashboards for reporting. Number five is the ability to easily integrate with other apps that your teams need and already use. Number six is the option to use a project management app, especially if your team works remotely or on the go. Number seven is considering if the product offers tech support or training to help you implement the software effectively. Number eight is ensuring the software has a system for budgeting, billing and quoting. Features for submitting and managing invoices and tracking time are a huge plus. And finally, check to see if the tool comes with security features to protect your project like data encryption, network security, and disaster recovery. Now that you've identified your team's needs, key features to look for and cost, let's go over six tips 
for how to actually choose your project management software when conducting a project management tool comparison. The first tip is to make a comprehensive list of everything you'll need from the tool based on what you discovered from your team, as well as a list of features that you would like to have but aren't necessary. The second tip is to research various project management tools that friends, peers, or others in your industry recommend. See what others have had success with, then narrow down those options by eliminating the tools that don't have the must-have features from your list. You can even create a spreadsheet for this process if you want. I know you love spreadsheets, right? Ooh, spreadsheets, yum yum. The third tip is to take advantage of free trials and demos of a narrowed down version of your list of project management tools. Tip number four is to get honest feedback from your team members and rank them from the team's favorite to least favorite. Getting different opinions and perspectives might help shed some light on important needs or concerns that you haven't even thought of. Tip number five is to consider how easy it is to implement and use the tool. Finally, you should compare the costs. By the time you get here, you should have a short list of options to consider, such as the costs of each tool, whether or not the software would be beneficial to invest in, and the tool that offers the best pricing model for your business. After taking everything into consideration, you're ready to make a choice. Once you pick the right project management software for you and your team, set aside time for training to make the implementation of the new tool easy and effortless for everyone. So as you can see, it isn't enough to simply ask, what is the best project management software? Because there is no one size fits all approach. So when in doubt, ask, what's the right project management app for our project and team? I really hope this video gets you started on the right track to choosing the best project management software for your projects. If you do need more guidance, check out our buyer's guide in the description. We also have an article where we've shortlisted some of the best all round project management software on the market. So I really hope that that helps you narrow down your options as well. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on your notifications. But until next time, take care.